Hi guys, how you doing? Thanks for returning. And I want to say a big hi to all my new subscribers. Hi. Uh, if you're new and you don't know me, my name is Feth. Today I want to show you my top 10 art supplies. Now, this was kind of hard, only because you don't really think about the things that you use every day. So I had to really sit down and think about it. And here they are in no particular order. First up is my electric eraser. This comes with an extra set of erasers. It came with the erasers this big and another set with little ones. It was a really good value. I use uh, rechargeable batteries and I haven't needed to replace them yet. Really nice eraser. I do have other erasers, of course. Everybody does, you know. Like, this one's sitting around. This one, all kinds, but this is the one that I reach for. Then, I just recently got myself a new electric sharpener. This doesn't have a name brand on it, but uh, I will go ahead and link it up in the description this is really super the other one I had it only had a normal size this one has the uh, 6 to 8 millimeter and the 9 to 12 millimeter which is really helpful for things like uh, well this is a polychromo this one will fit. no it doesn't fit in there okay polychromos do fit in there I thought so yeah okay but there's some thicker ones that I've got, which just did not fit in my other one. Ink tents? Yeah, ink tents won't fit, but it will in here. So, awesome possum. Also, again, it I use rechargeable batteries in that. So there is that one. Storage containers. I have a lot of different kinds of storage containers. Uh, this is just one of many. I also have just regular old books from like, you know, when I get something from uh, Amazon, I'll just reuse the box. Um, I need more, I need larger ones because I'm having to stack stuff and it's getting harder to find stuff. Uh, for instance, I have my liquid mask, and this is also on my list. Can't do without that. And I have my Daniel Smith's watercolor grounds, which I go through really fast. I've got four different uh, colors, and I use this almost continuously, almost every day. Especially my transparent one. Cutters. I use this a lot. For everything from opening boxes to opening containers and plastics. And this is very, very hel uh, helpful. And I also have just regular old scissors, which are getting pretty ancient. Not very sharp anymore. But I also have this. This is for uh, trimming paper. You know, like watercolor paper or pretty much anything. Uh, I am looking to upgrade this because it's not big enough a lot of the times. Uh, but this is fabulous. It's lasted me over a year on the one blade. So yeah, very happy with that. 
Nice one. Um, believe it or not, shelves. I currently have two um, shelves, which I'll put a picture up of. And this is pretty much where everything goes. Uh, that is an, on my table. And believe me, there is a lot of stuff on my table. Uh, but I have my pencils, my coloring books, my art supplies, uh, paper, just all kinds of stuff. And yeah, these were actually pretty cheap. I forget now, were they 30 pounds? I forget. I think the price has been going up on them. But yeah, can't do without. And my recharger which I will show you a picture of where I recharge my batteries and it has USB um, recharging section so I can charge my phone and my iPad and anything else that I need that has that kind of a charger uh, lights lights I live in a very dark house and my ceiling light has a yellow plasticky type of uh, shade so everything always has a yellow cast i have to have lights and you've seen from the reflections of my stuff i have one of the ring lights and it works pretty good when i'm just coloring averagely but now i've also got this new light it is super bright and I use it when I'm taking photos now, and it works really, really well. Um, I think the last thing... Well, okay, I really... These things are fabulous, these little tabs. I use them a lot, and I would say this and my washi tapes are kind of like tied for 10th place. Um, both of these things, I may not use them every single day, but they are part of the things that I absolutely have to have, or I just like start freaking out, like, what am I going to do? So, yeah. And I just got some new washi tapes, which I'm going to be showing you in my, um, my haul coming up. So that's it. That is the 10 things, <clears throat> 10 essential art supplies that I have. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye, see you in a couple days.